Who was Aristotle? Aristotle was an ancient Greek philosopher and scientist who is still considered one of the greatest thinker in politics, psychology and ethics. When Aristotle turned 17, he enrolled in Plato's Academy. In 338, he began tutoring Alexander the Great. In 335, Aristotle founded his own school, Lyceum, in Athens, where he spent most of the rest of his life studying, teaching and writing. Some of his most notable works include Nicomachean Ethics, Politics, Metaphysics, Poetics, and Prior Analytics. Early Life, Family, and Education Aristotle was born in circa 384 BC in Stygra and a small town on the northern coast of Greece that was once a seaport. Aristotle's father Nicomachus was court physician to the Macedonian king Amantas II. Although Nicomachus died when Aristotle was just a young boy, Aristotle remained closely affiliated with and influenced by the Macedonian court of the rest of his life. Little is known about his mother, Festus. She is also believed to have died when Aristotle was young. After Aristotle's father died, Proxenus of Artanius, who was married to Aristotle's older sister, Arimenist, became Aristotle's guardian until he came of age. When Aristotle turned 17, Proxenus sent him to Athens to pursue a higher education. At that time, Athens was considered the academic center of the universe. In Athens, Aristotle enrolled in Plato's Academy Greek's premier learning institution and proved an exemplary scholar. Aristotle maintained his relationship with Greek philosopher Plato, himself a student of Socrates and his academy for two decades. Plato died in 347 BC because Aristotle had disagreed with some of Plato's philosophical treatises. Aristotle did not inherit the position of director of the academy. As many imagined he would. After Plato's died, Aristotle's friend Hermias, king of Athenas, and Azus in Mysia invited Aristotle to court. Works and Books Aristotle wrote an estimated 200 works, most in the form of notes and manuscript drafts touching on reasoning, rhetoric, politics, ethics, science, and psychology. They consist dialogues called of scientific observation and systematic works. His student, Theophrastus, reportedly looked after Aristotle's writing and later passed them to his own student, Nilius, who stored them in a vault to protect them from moistures until they were taken to Rome and used by scholars there. Of Aristotle estimated 200 works only, 31 are still in circulation, most date to Aristotle's time at the Lyceum. Poetics is a scientific study of writing and poetry where Aristotle observes, analyzes, and defines mostly tragedy and epic poetry. Compared to philosophy, which presents ideas, poetry in an imitative use of language, rhythm, and harmony, 
that represents objects and events in the world. His daughter posited. His book explores the foundation of story making including character development, plot and storyline. In his book Metaphysics, Aristotle clarified the distinction between matter and form. To Aristotle, matter was the physical substance of things, while form was the unique nature of a thing that gave it its identity. In politics, Aristotle examined human behavior in the context of society and government. Aristotle believed the purpose of government was make it possible for citizens to achieve virtue and happiness. Intended to help guide statesmen and rulers, politics explores, among other themes, how and why cities came into being, the roles of citizens and politicians, wealth and the class system, the purpose of political system, types of government and democracies, and the roles of slavery and women in the household and society. In rhetoric, Aristotle observes and analyzes public speaking with scientific rigor in order to teach readers how to be more effective speakers. Aristotle believed rhetoric was essential in politics and law and help defended truth and justice. Good rhetoric Aristotle believed could educate people and encourage them to consider both sides of a debate. Aristotle's work explored how to construct an argument and maximize its effect as well as flaws raising to avoid. In Pride Analytics, Aristotle explains the syllogism as a discourse in which certain things having been supposed, something different from the things supposed to result of necessity because these things are so. Aristotle defined the main components of reasoning in terms of inclusive and exclusive relationships. These sorts of relationships were usually crafted in the future through the use of Venn diagrams. In prior analytics, Aristotle's other major writings on logic include categories on interpretation and posterior analytics. In these works, Aristotle discussed his system of reasoning and for developing sound arguments. Aristotle composed works on astronomy, including on the heavens and earth sciences, included meteorology. By meteorology, Aristotle didn't simply mean that study of weather. His more expensive definition of meteorology included all the affectation we may call common to air and water, and the kinds and parts of the earth and the affectation of its parts. In Metrology, Aristotle identified the water cycle and discussed topics ranging from natural disaster to astrological events. Although many of his views on the earth were controversial at the time, they were readopted and popularized during the late Middle Ages. In On the Soul, Aristotle examines human psychology, Aristotle writings about how people perceive the world continue to underlie many principles of modern psychology.